Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add window builder in your Eclipse ID. So, window builder is useful for creating GUI application. If you want to create GUI based application in Java using Swing, so you require window builder. So, in this video, I will be showing you how to do that because Eclipse does not come default with a window builder. So, you need to follow certain steps. So do follow my video till end if you want to install window builder. So guys here I have just started my Eclipse ID and I'm just trying to show you that I don't have any option of creating swing based project. So here in my file menu I'm just going to this other option and here I'm trying swing or you can type jframe or anything related to swing you will not get anything. So that means uh, window builder or GUI option is not available. So now let me tell you how you can solve this problem. So guys you can open any of your browser and simply search for window builder or window builder download and here you can see this website project eclipse.org so you have to go to this website just click on this and now guys here you can see we have option download window builder simply click on this so guys it will redirect you to this website window builder download and here you can see we have update sites various links are available so i'm going to select the first link and here you can see we have install option so what actually you need to do just drag and drop so you need to just uh, go to this install option and drag it and drop it to eclipse id so here i'm just uh, dragging this install option and dropping it to my eclipse id and after that guys i am getting this page confirmation page so here i need to just click on confirm button and after this guys it is asking me license and agreement so i am going to select i accept and i am going to click on finish button so after this uh, installation process of window builder will start it will take time so please wait for that and guys the process has been done here I am getting option of restarting my ID so yes I would like to restart ok here my ID is restarting and now guys it showing me this welcome screen so I am just going to close this and in my toolbar you can see the visual classes option has been added this second option you can see we have swing and in that we have various options like jframe and all that so now quickly let me tell you how to create project and how to add this jframe. So for that I am just going to file new and Java project. I am simply giving some name to this project and here this is the location and the project uh, specific JRE I am selecting model info uncheck and after that I am clicking on this uh, finish button guys you can see the project has been created. Here I am not able to see project explorer so for that I will just go to window menu and click on show view option. Now I am getting my project explorer. So you can see my project has been created. Here you can see swing demo is created. Under that we have src folder just expand you will get src folder. And now I will add frame. So select this src and go to this visual classes and here go to swing and select jframe. Now you need to give name to your jframe. So I am giving name to my frame as frame demo and provide a package name. So package name I am providing as CS corner and just click on OK or finish button guys. So this is done. You can see the frame has been added. Here I am getting frame demo dot Java and here we have option source and design. So you can see I am just clicking on design button and it is taking me to design part. And if you click on source button, you will see the coding part. Now, um, whatever design you want to do, you can do and run it. I am simply changing the layout and dragging, dropping any of the component just to demonstrate you that yes, window builder is working now. So, guys, this way you can download window builder in your Eclipse ID. I hope, guys, by following my video, you are really able to do this. If my video has helped you, don't forget to hit on like button. And if you have any query, you can put in comment box. Or you can send me my IG also but before that follow me guys. And guys you can share my video to your friends if you really like this video. And having my website I am uh, sharing lots of tutorial notes over there. You can certainly visit that. All my social media link I have given in description box. You can check out that. 
guys very important for me is your subscription if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive latest notifications from my channel thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys